Mark, I know you must be hurting, but you must be must be proud of the way that the boys went about the business today. Yeah, look, I thought it was a really good performance. We found the we found the first half really difficult um, to get any control in the game, and we were forced to defend for quite large periods. But we did it well, um, and Will kept a good goal. The goal's a real frustrating goal to lose a game on because it's just where our luck is a little bit in games at the minute. Um, to come off the back of our own lad's head and, and spawn its way into the corner is frustrating. I thought second half we were excellent, banging the game. I thought we had them at one point in the second half and we were going to go on and take something from it, which I don't think anyone would have begrudged us if we'd have, if we'd have got something out of the game. Um, disappointed to lose, of course, but we've just said there, you can lose games, you don't want to lose this one and you don't want to lose any ones really, but you can lose them and there's a way of losing them. And uh, if, you're, if you put it all out there and you bang in the game and you show a real purpose about how you get it, 2,000 odd people will applaud you off the pitch and deservedly so. Yeah, it's always felt like it was going to be one of those games which was going to rely on big moments at either end and they just didn't go our way today. No, they didn't. And sometimes that's where we are. You know, the goal against us is one. And then even at the end, Liam has a shot, it deflects off our player and wide. On Tuesday night, they have a shot, Wickham, and it deflects off someone and goes in. Um, but if you work like that, those little moments will turn in our favour. We've had a few horrible goals against us recently. And we can turn those moments around with good quality. I thought our keeper's made a brilliant save off Nibsey towards the end as well, and he's got him 1v1. Um, we had some good pressure and some good good attacks and good moments, some of which haven't gone our way, some of which we've got to do better with. Um, but the commitment of the team and the, the physical commitment into the game off the back of a similar shift on Tuesday night, um, we certainly feel a lot better about ourselves this Saturday night than we did last Saturday night for sure. And the supporters certainly showed their appreciation right at the end. No, I think I think any fans, but Cambridge fans, if you give that, they'll, they'll, they'll love you and sing you off the pitch. They're brilliant today. It was a brilliant atmosphere, proper game. And the, these are the games you want to play in when, you, when you've got real big crowds and great atmosphere and there's an edge to the game. Um, you actually get back in the dressing room and remind yourself there's other games today and that was a league game. It sort of didn't feel like it and we didn't really want it to. We just wanted it to be a, a game that you go and really commit to. And I thought we did it really well. Um, to come out with nothing's frustrating for us because there's been a few games we're in that we haven't turned into anything. Um, but at the same time, I can't dig the lads out for what they've given today and what they've given in the last seven days. If you'd have offered us three points this week with two tough away games, we'd have taken it. We'd have liked the three to have been today, but not to be. Um, so we crack on there, we get a little break, and then uh, the game shifts, the like, slows right down now. We've only got three or four in, uh, in November, but we probably need that at the minute. Yeah, and we've got an extended break now until the next game week on Sunday in the FA Cup. Totally different prospects. Yeah, a good one to look forward to. Obviously, it's eight days now, which is, I'll be honest, a dream. Everyone needs a little bit of a break. We've had a brutal month. It's been tough for us. Um, and despite the result today, I'd say that the end of the month has been quite positive for us and given us something to really hang on to, to know like, that's what we've got to commit to when we go to Curzon. That's what we've got to do when we're at home to Bolton and Accrington and, and, and keep turning out performances like that because I know that when we do that, we'll get points for sure.